Topo Chico. Hmm. Testing one, two, three. Sounds good. All right, let's take those off. One of the challenges about recording at home is trying to minimize some of that outside noise. I live about uh, three, four miles from a uh, municipal airport. So every once in a while I get airplanes flying over. About the best time I can record is at night. Everyone's done watching TV. Pretty much everyone's asleep. So it's about the time I can record. Sounds quiet. Okay, I think we're ready. So far, so good. Okay, it's ready. I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and do the intro. What's up everybody, Claudio here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm gonna show you how I create some content on the fly. I, I like saying on the fly or on the go. Um, and it's, um, right now I'm gonna be using my iPad here to uh, show you how I create videos uh, using this application called Adobe Spark Video. It's one of the many that I use. Um, I like it, first of all, because you can create it pretty much anywhere. There's a mobile version, iOS, for your iPhone and iPad, and then you can jump on the computer, create it on a uh, MacBook or Chromebook, a uh, Windows PC. It's a great multi-platform. So let me go ahead and jump on here and show you how I create these videos using the Adobe Spark video application. But before that, I'm gonna share this tip. Something that helps me out in my workflow is uh, putting all the content that I have captured, whether they are videos, video clips, um, graphics, or pictures, I'll create a folder, especially if I'm doing it on my mobile device, even on a computer is create a folder and put everything that you're going to be using to create the final video, put it all together in one folder. Especially if you have about 300 photos in your photos album, trying to find through the different ones can take time. Put them all in one folder, it'll save you a whole lot of time, take away the headache. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in and show you how it works. So here we go in three, two, one. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and head on over to the Adobe Spark video application. You notice that red plus sign at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and tap there. You have the option here to go ahead and start titling your story. I usually just kind of skip this part here. Uh, so I'm gonna go to skip because I like sharing this right here. These are story guides. If you have a hard time putting together video, you want to tell a story and you're having a tough time how to put it together these story guides will really help you out they'll guide you through the different video slides and recommend what to say really neat especially if you're in the classroom your teacher or you're in school and you want to create your own videos great way to create content using these story guides okay so let's get started here creating from scratch let me start first off at the top go ahead and look at layout you can choose a layout for each of your slides. Uh, so for the first slide, I can choose full screen, split screen, captioned, or a title and text. I'm gonna go ahead and choose title and text for this. And now let's go over to themes. You can choose themes for your video. I'm gonna go with that statement one there. And then we have resize, and here's the cool thing. But right now it's set up as widescreen. I'm gonna tap square and it resizes now. It works perfectly for Instagram. Uh, there's a lot of applications out there that you can import these videos in like Flipgrid. And then music, you can add music to your video. So basically it's kind of like a background music. One of the neat things about this is that you can overdub or narrate your story, which is great, uh, along with having music in the background. I'm gonna kind of slide through here. You see that there are different genres of music. You got happy, playful, relaxed, rousing, thoughtful, uplifting, and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's, mm, let's see here. And again, if I don't like it, I could always change it. Let's do trick further and then tap that and let's go ahead and start creating here wherever you see those plus signs that's where you can add content so here I'm gonna start actually and just add text I'm gonna share with you this trip that I took I went to SMU and 
we uh, visited their Maker Ed project. Really neat uh, place. If you ever get a chance to go to SMU, they have this basement area called Dig, and you can go there and see what students are doing. They can make their own projects. Really neat. And here's a cool thing about this. Check this out. So if you look at the text, you can now do this. Look at that. You can move it. Really neat. I love that. So let's put that right up there. All right, so I have my title here. Now I'm going to hit the plus sign and tell you what happened that day. So here I'm going to add a photo and I'm going to look for something that is on my iPad. So I have all these folders and there is my maker ed folder. These are all different things. And remember I talked about putting all my content together. That's all that I'm going to be using. I'm going to add that. That is my picture so I can bring it in, resize it, or have it fill the whole screen. I'm going to have it fill the whole screen here. And then there is a really neat button right there. You see the microphone. You can narrate your story here, as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to hit that and record something here. If I don't like what I say, I can release it and hold to re-record. Up early for my trip to SMU to visit the Maker Ed project. All right, so there I just created a narration over that. And let's hit the plus sign. And I'm gonna show you this here. This is really neat. I'm going to click on video. And in my folder, I have videos as well. So I can import video into a video. Really neat. And let's do it right there and hit done. So it's saving that. So now I have that on my clip. I can record over this now. Let's hit that record button. This is the dig basement where students can make their own projects. So I've added a narration over a video. Now that video itself has audio. What I'm going to do is, if you notice on the upper right corner, there's a little speaker icon. What I'm going to do here is mute the audio that's in that video so that my narration can be heard. You could also keep the audio from the video soft so you can still hear what's happening as you're overdubbing or make it loud. But in my case, I'm gonna mute it so you can only hear me talking. And so let's create another slide here. A really cool thing right here is icon. And what you can do is search for icons that are Creative Commons licensed, you can use. I'm gonna use robots here. And let's do that one there. And it, it'll drop it into my video. And now it's ready to go. And I can add some more audio here. Students are working on their own projects in the Maker Ed space. So there you have four slides. I've added a title, I've added a still image, video and icons. I've overdubbed several of the pages or should say slides. Now I can jump over to the credits, add my own credit here uh, and say all images and video by, I put my name here. And then if you notice underneath it says created with work by Max Cougar there. That is the uh, person who created that little Segway robot that I dropped in so it automatically gives them credit and then let's look at my outro so let's see how it looks like all together all right so let's see how this video looks like let's hit play up early for my trip to SMU to visit the maker ed project this is the dig basement where students can make their own projects Students are working on their own projects in the Maker Ed space. Really easy way of creating a video. Let's do one last thing, share it. So hit that share button. You can save it to your camera roll, share it immediately on Facebook or Twitter, email it, send as a message and then copy link to a clipboard so that you can share a link and people can view it online. I'm gonna tap on save to camera roll. 
let it go through its processing and it'll be on my uh, album on my device here if you're on computer you'll download it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it so a quick and easy way to create videos using Adobe Spark video let's go ahead and jump back to the screen here so I'm gonna count down in three two one all right so there you have it folks a quick and easy way to create videos this is one of the many apps that I use to create videos quick and easy use this to share your story it's a great tool for storytelling share them on different social media sites if you're in the classroom your students can create awesome videos to share their story throw them on a website throw them on different applications for others to see so i hope you've enjoyed this check out adobe spark video i think you'll enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel below thank you so much for stopping by until next time be good to one another peace out